I think we have to remember that unlike the rest of Europe, we have uniquely liberal labour laws and we speak English, which is the best, the best of all the languages, so this is the, the winner, the winner of the languages. So we are the country of choice for mass immigration. Therefore, we need to continue our grand tradition of not being very welcoming to refugees. If we have to have some Ukrainian refugees, why do we make room for them by doing some surprise deportations of dual nationality Brits. If we put through the Borders and Nationality Bill, I, I know the House of Lords said no, but we could still put it through. We won't even have to warn them. We can just suggest they go on a holiday and then, surprise, they, they can't come back. So why don't we say, hey, here's a surprise holiday and then, surprise, you're stuck there now. If you're dual nationality, are you really a Brit? It's like the bisexuals of the passport holder world, isn't it? Just pick one bit wishy-washy, bit greedy, and you haven't worked hard to pay for a British passport like a Russian oligarch who are, you know, getting rather bad press right now, but at least they pay their way. Therefore, I urge our Home Secretary to, as well as listening to these humanitarian voices, they also listen to some inhumanitarian voices. In this incident, me and, and my constituency, we've really done our bit, you know, there's no more no more room at the inn. However, we do need more fruit pickers, so they can apply that way. But if they have been injured by war, particularly in the, in the arm area, can I kindly suggest that a fruit picking career, aka a British residency, is, is not the career for them?